Welcome to the Authority of Love. I'm your co-host, Greg Williams, and joined by our other co-host, Mr. David Walls of the Family Foundation. David, thanks for joining us. Greg, good to be with you on a beautiful end of spring, I guess technically sometimes I say beginning of summer, but it's still spring right, in my right, mind. Right. Uh, Are we doing meteorological yeah, or calendar? Right, yeah. I don't know uh, why they do that, but yeah, it is great. It's a beautiful week here in Kentucky for sure, and we're enjoying it. Uh, before we go any further, I have to say this, David. Tomorrow, June the 1st, is my 33rd wedding anniversary, and I have to give a shout out to my wonderful and beautiful wife, Amy. 33 years, we dated and were engaged three years prior to that, basically. You're more beautiful than ever. I love you more than ever, babe. And uh, it's been such a blessing for you to be with me and me to be able to be with you for these 33 years. So I love you and happy anniversary. And David, with that said, speaking of special days, how was your Memorial Day? We had a we had a great Memorial Day. <laughs> yeah, tell weekend. us about it, David. Yeah, <laughs> no, well, yeah. for, uh, uh, we. Um, uh, we traveled to a soccer tournament in Indianapolis, and Greg, there was something uh, there was something going on on Memorial Day weekend, yeah, and it, yeah. something to do with race cars yeah, and yeah. Uh, well, and the no. NBA, they, yeah, the, the NBA in, finals, right? right. Yeah, the, the, yeah, oh yeah. Our soccer tournament was not the center of the universe in, in Indianapolis this <laughs> no, weekend, right? But we had a we had a good time, good time with the team. Won one, lost one. Uh, my son, they were going to make it to a championship game. But then it got rained out with the crazy storms that oh, were coming. Yes, yeah. And so we, we got on the road quickly. And right, thankfully, right. the Lord was protective to us uh, right ahead of some pretty nasty storms on the yeah. way back home uh, on uh, uh, this weekend. Well, I'll tell you this. Your Memorial Day was much more eventful than mine. <laughs> and you, being in Indianapolis yeah. and Indy 500 yeah. we, and, and NBA. I did not uh, go to the race. Your, race no, the no, right. <laughs> I understand. But you had your family together. Yeah. And that's a beautiful thing. Amy and I just got to spend a little time just resting and we needed it with you taking care of my dad and the things that are going on with that so we were very appreciative of that so i hope whatever you did for memorial day was with your family your loved ones and you had a great time but speaking of memorial day david um walmart had a take on memorial day tell, tell our listeners fill in our listeners a little bit about that because it's quite a shift it, them. Yeah, it is, Greg, and it, it continues to just be so troubling to see these um, corporate uh, giants, you know, uh, institutions really in our nation going full-fledged into the LGBT agenda. Yeah. As you and I have, you know, shared, uh, we're uh, fast approaching uh, the start of the month of June. I love the month of June. I Unfortunately, yeah. it has been... I just told uh, you why for yeah, me. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it has yeah. been uh, co-opted into this uh, celebration of sinful lifestyles yeah. as Pride yeah. Month. And uh, obviously, there's been a, a lot of um, a lot of pushback on that over the last couple of years. Uh, we saw uh, Target really, yes. uh, of course, they've always been a kind of a, a woke progressive corporation yeah. known for that, but they went so far in last year, you know, putting displays and clothes right at the front of stores that were completely right. really uh, unavoidable for those that shop at Target. I do not shop at Target, yeah. but um, but to see Walmart, and they were kind of called out on this last year too, yes, yeah, it started. but to see Walmart um, not make any adjustments and, and apparently on their social media channels, just hammering and celebrating uh, using Memorial Day weekend to promote the pride agenda. And uh, and apparently, uh, you know, our friends at, at American Family Association have, have have called them out on this. But you know, thousands of items available on their website. Right. If you, um, if you Google the word, sir, if you search for the word pride, yeah, on their website, you'll find over a thousand pieces of clothing, and some of them are in your face. Yeah, you know, kind of thing. And yeah. uh, and this is yeah. despite the fact that their CEO had said, you know, that they were not willing to to really engage and take as many social and political statements as, as Target and some others have made. But but once again, we see um, they seem to be doing so. Yeah. Uh, Kowtowing yeah. to that agenda. Yeah. And, and, th and this is, we've said it many times, David, but that's why the church has to be the church. Yeah. That's God gave the responsibility to the church. We do it graciously. We love. And love doesn't mean you agree with. Yeah. Matter of fact, Tolerance literally means to be able to love while you disagree. Yeah, yeah. You know, they've twisted that word yeah. and everything. And so the church and pastors, we've got to stand up for these truths because what they're literally doing is promoting sexual sin yeah. according to God's word. And we've got to stand on that and help others. And speaking of which, I know you you know about this, but there were several key moments that gave us hope on this thing. One of them was Harrison Butker 
speech at Benedictine College, a Catholic college. He is the field goal kicker for the Can- the, the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. And uh, right here in Kentucky, Micah Price, a senior at Campbell County High School. Speak to that issue, David, because we have some strong stances there that give us hope yeah you know we we shared in our uh, in our daily let us prayer uh, let us pray devotionals just a, an encouragement a thankfulness for um for harrison butker you know kansas city chiefs a lot of folks have heard about this story but yeah. uh you know three-time super bowl winner um and in this speech you know he really just laid out a a, a christian and um vision for what for what marriage, family, motherhood, right. fatherhood. Right. You know, one of his quotes in the speech was, let's celebrate families, motherhood, and fatherhood. Our society desperately needs dedicated men and women looking to rise up and train the next generation in the way that they should go, each embracing and celebrating the beautiful roles that God has made. Um, has made. Yeah. Um, uh, paraphrasing a little bit there, but just a, a beautiful... A picture in, in, in a culture that so desperately is crying out for families and marriages and and children that need uh, fathers yeah. and, and, and 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 so integrity peace and yeah. chaos all yeah. of those and things. it's just yes. really been interesting to see the blowback from that particularly in the entertainment venues even the NFL itself I believe coming out and yeah. saying you know, while not outright condemning, saying we, you know, we, we're distancing ourselves as right. much as we possibly can right, right. from what he said. Uh, it, it's just a, amazing to, you know, the speech that he gave a generation ago wouldn't, oh wouldn't I mean, oh, not There's to say it wouldn't even have been news. He'd have been invited right. everywhere. Yeah. 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 But I've heard him, you know, he's continued to stand strong and he's yes. shared how encouraged he's been with the amount of folks that have right. thanked him. And, and that's simply what we did. And, it, and so, you know, it's another example of what you know, someone just proclaiming the eternal truths that are found in Scripture, uh, what a difference uh, they can make in this culture because it rubs up against yep. Yep. what the culture is promoting so yep. much. Right. Uh, and another great example that you just, and this is a story that just has really come to light in the last few days, Greg, but just a, a, a Campbell County um, high school student, Micah Price here in, here in Kentucky, uh, was able to give a speech at his graduation ceremony and use that opportunity uh, to thank his Lord and Savior and encourage folks to, to follow the Lord Jesus. You get to know him. That's right. And, uh, yeah. you know, it was yeah. disappointing to see that the school district kind of clamped down on him and, and didn't give his uh, diploma to him for five days. Ceremony, right? I've seen a story today or within the last 24 hours that's saying that he has gotten his diploma now. Um, but what's really encouraging is he's he's done uh, several media interviews yes. with all this going on, and he has just used every one of them to point people to Jesus yeah, and to proclaim yeah. the gospel. Uh, and uh, I was going to read one quote here that uh, that we had shared that I just thought was so neat to see a you know a young man seventeen or eighteen seventeen year old, eighteen yeah, year yeah. old you know what what a, an example for all of us. Yeah. But he had said in one of his interviews. Um, that he simply can't enter a place or a building and not talk about his Savior and urge people to give their lives to him. Wow. That's, now, that's awesome. That's, that's an that's encouragement. Awesome. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little discouraged about Walmart, but we have a lot of things exactly to right. uh, be exactly. encouraged about. Yeah. And, um, and may we all, may we all have the courage in whatever, point, a graduation yeah. ceremony, yeah. at work, uh, certainly in our family lives, but wherever God has placed us, we have an opportunity to, to represent Christ in all that we do, and may we all. And that's what we're called to do. Absolutely, Christians. yeah. And, and you're, you're not first and foremost a legislator right. or a politician or a teacher or a director of a nonprofit. Right. You're, you're not first and foremost that. If you're a Christian, you are always first and foremost a Christ follower. Absolutely. And that's your point, and that's what that's Mike our is identity. saying. That's exactly right. Yeah. It has to be. Interesting thing, and I want to, I want to say something, and I'll pitch it back to you on that same issue. In our book, we talk about Dr. Tony Evans says our God is a covenant-making and covenant-keeping God, and every yeah. covenant has an order. And that order, in, in Harrison Butker's speech, he gives that order. And it's interesting, every, we, very few would deny that our culture and our country is in chaos. Yeah. Very few would deny that. And yet, hardly anyone is willing to stand up, We've got a few here, obviously, and we're trying to do that, and say, you know where the remedy for that is? It's found first and foremost in the marriage and the family and the home. Yeah. And that's all he said. But, yeah. but they, I mean, people going nuts. Now, there was a lot of support, as you said, yeah. for him. The other thing is, 
I wonder what the, and I'd like for you to speak to this a little bit, I wonder what the response would have been if Micah Price had said something like this, I want you to go out and celebrate Pride Month or LGBTQ yeah. issues and agendas yeah. or Hamas or, or things like yeah. that. I wonder how the school would have responded then. Yeah. Well, and, and this is just a, another reminder. You know, it. so many times we see this in the church, uh, but but it's certainly pre- prevalent in, in government institution and schools. Uh, you know, organizations like the ACLU, even more radical organizations like the, um, uh, oh, goodness, the organization uh, that promotes atheism, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Americans United for Separation of Church and State, they have done such, unfortunately, a wonderful job of deceiving uh, our administrators a lot of times in in school districts into believing that if 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 God is mentioned, if the Bible is mentioned, if the Ten Commandments are mentioned, wiping out our rights actually. Right, right. That you have crossed some line that that, you know and 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 violated the separation of uh, you know, violated the First Amendment. It's not in the Constitution. (laughs) But you know, uh, you've established a religion. (laughs) You know, all these things. Thankfully, you know, over the last really, I would say, decade, you know, the 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 U.S. Supreme Court has been course correcting some of the really really bad First Amendment jurisprudence. And uh, we've had some very key victories. You and I have talked about some of these, the Coach Kennedy decision. Yes. You know, in Kentucky, we passed a, a law in the previous session in 2023 to further shore up uh, religious freedom rights for teachers yes. and, and folks that work for school districts. Right. So sometimes we just, we need to use these examples to say, look, we're thankful for what the, what, uh, uh, what the student did, but the school shouldn't have been feeling no, like no, they had no. it to, to mark up his no. speech or tell him what he couldn't or, or could not say. And that's not saying we, we don't need to be, um, you know, wise in what's said in schools no, to no. have some, you know, idea of what's going to be said. But the idea that you can talk about any topic or address pretty much any topic, except, but if you dare go to except, Christ or right. talk about Christianity, that's the issue. ooh, yeah. ooh, you, you know. Said, uh, you said it right, David. Yeah. The, the, the ACLU and the atheist groups yeah. and all these have done a great job of deceiving. Yeah. I have a question about that. It's more rhetorical than anything yeah. because you also mentioned to some degree our churches and our leaders in our churches have been duped into this deception and are afraid to speak out rightly right. and completely yeah. on a lot of these issues, yeah. which is why people, that's where God left the truth to be right. shared, salt and light. And if you're not doing it there, we are going to be easily deceived. Right. And that's what happens. So yeah. thank you for your comments on that. Uh, by the way, Stay tuned for more on probably next week, right, right, David, on school choice. Yeah. We've been talking about it. There's more to come. There is some momentum. David's got some things that he knows are going on, and we'll probably fill you in on that next yeah. week. What about the election? Primary election over is over, but you've got some resources for the general election. Share with us yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, you and I broke down the Kentucky's primary election, but we have a piece up on our website with a little bit more detail. If folks want to go to KentuckyFamily.org and, and read that. As we shared as well, we've recently uh, published our 2024 Kentucky Family Legislative Scorecard that you can go see how your legislators voted yeah. this last session. Uh, our new Kentucky Citizen is available. All these resources folks can, can sign up and get for free at KentuckyFamily.org. And of course, we'll be, now that we're through the primary, we'll be working towards uh, publishing as we get closer to the general election, the general election voter guide uh, a, as well. Uh, you know, this is, Greg, this, this is going to be an important year. To, yeah. uh, every year's important. Absolutely. But uh, there's a lot going on at the, you know, it, with the national election. Uh, with everything that's going to be going on here in Kentucky. Yep. Uh, and so um, Absolutely. appreciate folks um, engaging yep. with us however they can. So go there, loveandlordship.com, for more on the ministry. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for your prayers. Thanks always to the Lord. Make it a great day, and God bless in Christ. I'm Greg Williams with David Walls, and you're listening to The Authority of Love.